very good afternoon so yesterday we were discussing mean that is one measure of central tendency range we have discussed now let us discuss with the next that is mode so according to the definition mode is the most frequently occurred observation of the data in a data if an observation is occurring the observation which is occurring maximum number of times that is called its mode yes kartik kartik what do you want to say yes kartik chadda bachi unmute yourself yes ma'am ma'am am i audible yes yes मैम मैंने ना आपको कॉपी सेंड की थी फर्स्ट टू चैप्टर्स की मैम आपने चेक कर ली पर आपने ना वो वापस नहीं भेजी मैम चेक करके भेज दी हुई है बेटे मेरे पास टिक हुई है आपकी कॉपी पर और आपके आपकी जो बाकी चैप्टर्स की टर्न है वो अभी है ना आज है ना यस मैम मैम आज है दैट आई विल सी अदरवाइज आई थिंक आई हैव सेंड इन द ग्रुप यू चेक द ग्रुप केयरफुली ओके मैम एंड मैम जो आज आपको कॉपी सेंड करनी है वो फर्स्ट टू चैप्टर्स की दोबारा करनी है कि जो लास्ट टू चैप्टर्स होने की करनी है चैप्टर्स व्हिच हैव बीन व्हिच हैव ऑलरेडी बीन चेक दे आर यू नॉट नो देयर इज नो नीड टू सेंड देम ओके मैम एंड मैम आप एक बारी ना चेक कर लेना आई थिंक चेकड वाली मेरे को ना वापस नहीं मिली मैम कॉपी तो आप एक बारी चेक करके देख देना इफ इट इज सो यू री सेंड मी आई विल रीचेक इट मैं भी अपने रिकॉर्ड में देखती हूं कार्तिक की कॉपी अगर मैंने चेक की हुई तो मेरे पास टिक होगा मैम मेरा भी सेम ही था मुझे भी वापस नहीं मिली मैंने भी फर्स्ट चैप्टर्स की सेंड की थी नहीं नहीं कार्तिक मेरे पास टिक भी नहीं है इसका मतलब नहीं चेक हुई जसवीन आपकी भी नहीं चेक हुई yes. आप, आप दोनों मुझे तीनों तीनों चारों चारों चैप्टर्स की भेजना ठीक है ओके मैम हां ठीक है ओके जैस्मिन जैस्मिन व्हाट डू यू वांट टू से जैस्मिन जैस्मिन योर टू चैप्टर्स दैट दैट आई हैव चेक सिंपल इक्वेशंस एंड सिमेट्री एक्चुअली And then obviously four is occurring maximum number of time that means four times so four will be the mode of the data so mode is the most easiest you can say measure of central tendency to detect that you just have to see that which number is occurring the maximum number of times that that we call it to be the mode jasmine you can put your hand down now and gorish why your hand is raised यस मैम मैम आप एक टाइम मेरी भी कॉपी रिकॉर्ड में चेक कर लो मैम मेरी भी कॉपी वापस नहीं आई थी गौरिश की तो कॉपी मैंने चेक की है पूरी चेक की है आपकी तो टर्न ही कल थी आपकी कॉपी चेक क्या पूरी यस मैम वो फर्स्ट मैम फर्स्ट चैप्टर्स मैम फर्स्ट टू चैप्टर एवरी चैप्टर इज चेकड ठीक है मेरे पास मैंने कल ही किया आपका एक्चुअली फर्स्ट चैप्टर बहुत देर पहले का आया हुआ था दैट दैट आई हैव चेक यस्टरडे ओके मैम हां जी एसएस ब्रदर्स यस मैम मैंने भी कहा था मैम मेरे फर्स्ट टू चैप्टर्स की मैम मैं भेज दी थी आपको मैं कब वापस नहीं आई हूं अ आई थिंक हां दैट इज विद मी सक्षम यू डोंट वरी आई विल सेंड आई ओके आई वाज आस्किंग इट बी बिफोर मतलब सो मेनी डेज बिफोर आई आई वाज आस्किंग फॉर इट ना दैट इज विद मी ओके यू सेंड व्हाटएवर इज लेफ्ट व्हाटएवर यू हैव सेंड अर्लियर कीप इट दैट इज विद मी ओके चलिए so mode is the most occurring uh, most uh, maximum number of times occurring observation in the data so the number which is occurring maximum number of time that is called mode for example if you if you are in your almira uh, black shirts number is maximum you are having maximum black shirt then the mode of your almira will be your black shirt right that if you in your almira you are having white shirts as maximum shirts then mode of the almira will be the white shirt right so the last measure of central tendency that we are going to discuss that is median median
median is that value which divides the data into two equal parts median is that value which divides the data into two equal parts 50% observation lies above it and 50% observations lies below it right so to find the median the first step that the student used to miss and uh, just because of that uh, their whole question it 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 gets wrong is that that first of all you are you have to arrange the data in ascending order whenever you are finding out the median you have to arrange the data in ascending order first then you will proceed with the next steps for example if i am having a data having a data like uh, this and i have to find its median and i go directly then it will give me the wrong answer so i first of all i have to arrange the data in ascending order like this first of all 11 is there second step is write the number of observation write the number of observations write the number of observations and denote it by n here n number of observation they are 5 right so median is equal to in case of odd value of whatever n is there add 1 to it divide by 2 this observation that means value of 6 by 2th observation that is value of third observation kuch bacche iska answer median ka 3 likh dete hain three answer nahi hoga jo third number pe baitha hai wo answer hoga third number pe kon hai 30 so the median is 30 otherwise in case of odd number of observation it is very much clear that half of the observation will like this on one side half of the observations they will be on the another side and accordingly you will get the median aapke paas accordingly median to hai aa jayega and median is one of the value of the data if the number of observations are odd if the number of observations are odd then median must be from the values of the data whatever values are there in the data out of those value some of the value will play the role of the median n is 5 otherwise directly 13 answer using formula 5 plus 1 by 2 6 by 2 third third number pe who is sitting 13 so this is the median ab hum hum agar baat kare uh, when the number of observation odd one more number i am adding let it be 10 in case of odd number of observations how will proceed here n is equal pehle to ascending order mein arrange karo This is ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, and twenty. Now write n. N is equal to six, which is even. N is equal to six, which is even. Now the question is: अब कौन से दो observations को हम center में रखें? Whatever answer you are getting, as you are getting six here. you divided by 2 answer is 3 divide by 2 answer me se minus kar do 1 kitne bache 2 2 observation leave it on the right side 2 observation leave it on the uh, left side 2 observation you have to leave it on the right side 2 observation you have to leave it on the left side in between you are left with 12 and 13 so you will write median is equal to in dono ka mean that is 12 plus 13 upon 2 that is 25 upon 
and that is equal to 12.5. Even number of observation, I'm discussing one of the most same type. Find the median of find the median of the data five, fifteen, ten, fifteen, five, ten, ten, twenty, twenty five, and then fifteen. We want to find the median of this data. So first of all, we have to arrange the data in ascending order. That means from the lower to the bigger one. And that is, first of all, five. Five is coming two times. Tick karte jaya karo sasa. Then 10 coming three times. 15 coming three times. And then 20 and then 25. 10 items are there, so we are writing it accordingly. We want to find median. First of all, write the number of observations. This is 10, which is even, divided by 2, 5, minus 1 from it, that is 4. Divide by two, whatever observation you are getting, whatever number you are getting, minus one from it and you're getting four. That means four observations are to be left or are to be left from the extreme left and uh, four observations are to be left from the extreme right. So in between, you are left with 10 and 15. So you will write, Therefore, median is equal to 10 plus 15 upon 2. Each value of those values, they are added, divided by 2. So, this will be equal to 25 upon 2. That is 12.5. So, this way you can find the median. In the case when the data is having even number of operations. Data is having even number of operations. Right. So the next uh, uh, concept of the chapter is reg uh, regarding uh, bar graph and double bar graph. We are going to start with bar graph and double bar graph. And uh, two things we have to do. One is the bar graph, another is a double, double bar graph. And uh, one thing also, we have to do some questions which are related to the reading of bar graph. Right? Shaliya.
first of all <clears throat> i would like to take data to construct a bar graph and that is 3.3 question number third bar graphs data with us is class number of children class is 5th 6th 7 8th 9 and the number of children associated are One thirty five, one twenty, ninety five, hundred ninety, and tenth class is also there with number of children to be eighty. So this is the data of which bar graph is to be constructed, and moreover, after constructing the bar graph of this for this data. we have to give the answer of certain questions which are related to the given data so you know whenever we have to draw the bar graph we firstly have to plot two perpendicular lines like this draw two perpendicular lines two perpendicular lines name one line to be x axis horizontal line to be x axis vertical line to be y axis and the point where they are touching each other call it to be o that means zero now in case of bar graph you are having two things one is the you can say categories another is a number associated with that category so as far as category is concerned here the category of classes is given so the category of anything while drawing bar graph is always marked along x axis so i'm marking here class here classes so you have to write the heading classes and the number of anything as here it is number of children it is to be marked along y axis so write down number of children it is to be marked along y axis hope so you are having your bar graphs with me with you and you are making it side by side right now see uh classes are to be mentioned along x axis you are having bar graph graph paper in which you are having 10 small lines and after every 10 lines one bold line is there green line you have to start with the first bold green line and first of all you have to mention the number here minimum value is 80 and maximum value is 135 तो हम सेवेंटी से शुरू कर लेते हैं जो भी मिनिमम वैल्यू होगी उससे दस कम लेके टेन टेन का गैप लेंगे हम आई एम टेकिंग सेवेंटी एट्टी नाइन्टी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड टेन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी हंड्रेड थर्टी हंड्रेड फोर्टी बस क्योंकि मैक्सिमम वैल्यू वन थर्टी फाइव है तो हम वन फोर्टी तक की वैल्यू लिख लेते हैं सो द फर्स्ट बार इज class for class 5th and it is containing value 135 after 130 you will count five lines and the line is to reach here pura ek block aapne cover kar lena hai thoda chhota kar lete hain mere paas space kam hai class is zyada hai तो मैं बार थोड़े कम लिख के बना रही हूं 
दिस इज फॉर क्लास फिफ्थ वैसे नीचे मेंशन करते हैं फिफ्थ एंड द वैल्यू इज वन थर्टी फाइव नेक्स्ट इज योर क्लास सिक्स एंड वैल्यू इज वन ट्वेंटी सो लिविंग वन बार यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट बार कीपिंग द स्केल एट द डार्क लाइन गोइंग अप टू द वैल्यू ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी दैट मीन्स दिस वैल्यू this is your sixth class and the value associated is 120 then the class is seventh and the value is 95 after 90 five lines are to be counted this is 90 this is 95 seventh 95 Class seventh associated with the value ninety five. Then class eight associated with hundred. Starting with the board line, going up, taking turn up to the board line, and come back. Coming for the ninth class, it is associated with number ninety. then class 10th associated with number 80 associated with 80 class 10 Now you know uh, if we see along y-axis where we have uh, written the number of students, gap is of ten units everywhere, but the first gap is of seventy unit. That means this gap is not following the scale as that of the other intervals. Another gap, so we have to take it out, and for that we have to make a king. So scale is to be written. Long y-axis scale is to be written. This scale long, any thing that number will be, its its scale will be written. This is category. Scale will be written only for the number, not for the category. So on y-axis, one block. This is equal to you can say ten students, or one unit is equal to ten small units. You can write in that way also. You can write in that way also. so there are some questions associated with this uh, bar graph first question is how would you choose a scale we will choose a scale by keeping the distance of 10 units between the each of bar right next which class has the maximum number of children and which class has the minimum number of children so aapne apne bar graph ki taraf dekhte hue is cheez ka guess laga lena hai 
कि किस क्लास में जो चिल्ड्रन का नंबर है वो मैक्सिमम है एंड किस क्लास में नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन जो है वो मिनिमम है जिसका बार सबसे हाइट पे है दैट क्लास इज हैविंग मैक्सिमम चिल्ड्रन दैट यू कैन सी क्लास फिफ्थ एंड जिसका बार सबसे यू कैन से स्मॉलर है दैट विल बी हैविंग द लेस नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दैट इज क्लास टेन और मैक्सिमम में फिफ्थ क्लास और मिनिमम में टेंथ क्लास नेक्स्ट इज फाइंड द रेशो ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स रेशो ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स एंड ऑफ क्लास एट सिक्स एंड एट क्लास के स्टूडेंट्स की रेशो सिक्स क्लास स्टूडेंट रेशो एट क्लास सिक्स क्लास में हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट वन ट्वेंटी रेशो हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर इन एट क्लास हंड्रेड दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड दिस इज सिक्स रेशो फाइव सो एनी क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क फ्रॉम यू रिलेटेड टू दिस डाटा कोई भी क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछा जा सकता है नाउ वी विल डू वन डबल बार ग्राफ लेट एस स्टार्ट डबल बार ग्राफ and the data given is i'm uh, discussing ek minute just a minute wait i'm taking different data first of all sports number of boys and number of girls sports number of boys number of girls chaliye sports hamare paas di hui hai this is soccer basketball track and field volleyball number of boys who are participating in the particular games 26 20 17 21 25 25 11 15 this is the data of which we have to draw a double bar graph double bar graph is to be drawn for this data चाहिए लेट एस प्रोसीड देखें कैसे ड्रॉ करते हैं डबल बार ड्रॉ ओके चलिए कीप वन थिंग इन माइंड इफ यू वांट टू ड्रॉ द बार टू बार्स इन द सिंगल यू कैन से यूनिट दैट मींस इन द सिंगल बार अगर आपने दोनों बार्स को एक ही बार में एडजस्ट करना है देन यू विल लीव वन बार इन बिटवीन बट इफ यू आर चूजिंग सिम टेन लाइंस From one bar and associated साथ ही उसके साथ ही associated 
10 lines for the another bar then you have to leave two bars in between so वैसे बच्चों को दो जो बार्स हैं उनको यूज करके बनाना ज्यादा आसान लगता है बट द थिंग इज इन दैट केस यू हैव टू लीव द टू बार्स इन बिटवीन जितने बार्स आप यूज कर रहे हो उतने ही इन बिटवीन आपने छोड़ने हैं राइट चलिए लेट एस स्टार्ट मेक टू परपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स mark them x axis and y axis meeting at zero this is the category of certain things sports so categories are always mentioned along x axis categories are always mentioned along x axis and number of anything this is always mentioned along y axis so we are given number of boys and number of girls so we can collectively collectively mark them as number of children chaliye we will continue tomorrow do send your notebooks according to the schedule if you want to get marks for your internal assessment